Hey, this is Jenny Jones. Now you're probably wondering how did I build? I've actually <laughs> built about three apps already, but let me show you how I built this app in one of the easiest apps. And by far, I think one of the best apps builders that are out there today won't spend that much time with you today. Hey, my name is Jenny Jones and I am with the Digital Growth Hacks Club. I'm always trying to find different ways to help you grow your business, add ideas, expand your business, add ways to uh, grow your revenue here at this channel. So if this is your first time here, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Now, what I wanna show you is a tool called AppHive, right? And in AppHive, you have a tool that builds out these modules for you. Now, I've experienced a lot of other app building tools, right? Because I've built a couple already. I've built one for my real estate company and I'm building another one for um, a food delivery, kind of a DoorDash kind of. So I may show that on my, uh, my app use case TV. That's a little bit more intense, but I am using this platform for that. So again, let me show you, this is um, a tool called AppHive. Let me kind of take you through what I've put together and uh, I'm not done with it. I just started and I kind of wanted to show you because it didn't take me that long, but I think you just have to understand it. I will tell you a lot of things are in Spanish still. So I'm thinking it's a Spanish, it is a Spanish uh, based company, but they have, um, they've made their way over to the US and it is um, just in time. So this is a tool that I put together, right? And so what they do is they tell you, say, hey, if you wanna add a page, right? These are some templates. And what the founder was saying is, hey, use our templates, don't start from, don't start from scratch, don't recreate the wheel, which I can appreciate. Um, you can have a couple of templates there, or you can go through and try to find different templates here to get you going. This is what I appreciated more than any other tool that is out available right now. Um, definitely in AppSumo or some of the other tools. This one gave you a plethora of tools. They're getting their um, act together when it comes to the uh, online templates and things like that. But let me just kind of show you what I have so far. Let me show you how fast I did it and so far how fast I created. So this is my login screen. So this is the social social screen, right? And a person has a choice. They can log in through Facebook, Google, or log in with the email. If they don't have an email, they can create one, right? And so they can come here, they can log in. That'll take them to the login. If they forgot the password, there's a password a module underneath that. This is an actual loading screen. A lot of, I think a lot of people are saying, hey, AppHive doesn't have a loading screen. Yeah, they do, and it's pretty easy to add one. So this is a, add, a load screen I have here. This is a tool that I bought, obviously, from AppSumo. It's called, um, I forget the name of it. I'll put a link in the description. I wanna say it's called Creedy or Creedy or Cutie or something like that. And they make lattes. I mean, this is what the lattes do. They're little small animations that people use for loading screens inside their apps they are almost 200 to 300% um, smaller than an actual GIF file. So they're very, very small, works very well on, on uh, when you're using them for apps. I purchased a program, They I, I purchased their program. They had it on sale at AppSumo. I don't know if it's still there. I'll definitely put a link in there for that as well. But I use this for a lot of my loading screens, right? And so this is one I put, this is obviously uh, uh, for retirement. And this is more of a, just a saving loading screen, meaning that, hey, if you save, you water, it grows, right? And then uh, I have a sign up screen. If you don't have it, you can sign up for it. This is my main home screen that has all my services. I created one because I have a lot of services. They're all over the place, right? I have a couple different landing pages. And people say, hey, can I just get something that has all of your stuff in it? Here you go. You can get my podcast. You can get my retirement tools, you can get retirement TV, retirement services, retirement products, right? Or you can get my top services, which is the retirement chat um, and or retirement plan. And then you have here, this is a menu that I put together down here. And if a person clicks on uh, retirement chat, right? It's gonna take them to a screen like this. They'll be able to buy it. They'll be able to purchase it from there. So this is kind of how I put this is my app. I'm still working on it. Let me tell you the 
I'm not going to tell you, uh, it's not a secret juice, but what I found in putting together a tool like this. So let's create one from scratch and let's just start with uh, an empty screen. And some people are wondering, what do you do when you get this tool? Because a lot of people got it and says, ah, return it. I don't like the way it's working. If you haven't taken your time to get into this tool, then you will feel a little uh, frustrated. One of the first things you do is you, you grab a container. Why? Because you want everything on your screen positioned inside of a container. And so what they said, and again, I'm not a magician. I learned what the founder taught me. He says, hey, take that one container, uh, make the container um, 80%, right? You make it 80% of the screen. And then you have, um, you know, you have 10% uh, here, and then you have 10% there of an actual phone screen. And so what you can do there is you can say, hey, you know what, let me put a container here because I do want uh, buttons there. So I want to be able to navigate down there and I also want a container up top. Let me see if this works. Uh, let me shrink it down a little bit. Um, let me put this together for you. And so you have a container up top. You have one below and you have one in the middle. All right. And so what you do is if you wanted to create a button, let me just show you real quick how we do that. And this is the easiest part about it. And I think a lot of people are challenged with it. So if you have a button, these three buttons, they do three unique things as I kind of bring this to a close. The first one is you want to edit it. You know, it says I want to change the color of the button, right? I can make it black or any other color that I can choose in there. And then I can change the text. I can change it. I can have it bold, right? I can have an italicize. So that's what this top button does. The second one allows you to put controls to it, you know, enable you to do things or you enable to have it um, uh, dynamic loading or, or hidden. Hey, I only want it to show up at a certain time and or you can put icons on the button, right? That's what this second piece is for. And then the third piece is I want it to have a function, right? Uh, good old JavaScript and or um, uh, Visual Basic uses the functions. You go add event here, and I want people not on long press, not on press out. I want on press. I want you to on press. I want you to, and then they have a series of different things. These functions are already here, people. This is what I like most about it versus some of the other tools that I had. And so I think if you take your time on this tool, I think you can get a pretty powerful tool here. And so this is one where it says, hey, you know, on press, I want you to log in with, uh, I don't know, Facebook, right? And then you got that. And that's what this button will do. It'll take you to a Facebook login screen. Um, and then it has here, you can put some other conditions on there. Hey, if there's an error at Facebook, redirect them here, redirect them there, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's kind of how you work this, right? And then you can say, hey, you know what? I want to put an image right here. So you can go there and you can click and you can put an image right there and so on and so forth. And that's how you use this tool. Very easy to use. Let's take a look at the deal that they have going on. Um, the deal here is 19 bucks, right? You can look at uh, 19 bucks. We'll get you one project, one app, and one comp uh, compilation or one compile. So basically you can only change it once a month. Uh, I don't think that's the best deal. I think uh, uh, if I started anywhere, I would do maybe a tier two or the best for the value and for the money is maybe a tier three, right? Because you'll get three projects, meaning you can have three separate projects, right? But you get unlimited apps per project and you can get to compile it 20 times or you get to to send it up and re uh, if you wanted to make changes, you could have leaks get to do 20 changes. I guess that's what that would mean in simpler terms. And you can have three different projects, meaning that if I wanted to do something uh, for car dealerships, if I wanted to do something for pizza places and I wanted to do something for uh, retirement planning or something like that, I can have those three different ones. So I can have unlimited projects for retirement planning. I can have unlimited projects for car dealerships and I can have unlimited projects for pizza places. So the projects, if they're the kind of the same, if they're like, if I'm, if I'm, if I go out and I start working with pizza places, 
then I can just, I, I know I'm loading. Everybody's going to have pepperoni. Everybody's going to have anchovies. Everybody's going to have cheese or what have you. I can build out. I can have unlimited um, projects that I can build within that particular, because I have, I can have unlimited apps, but I can have three projects. And so maybe an app where I may build an app for management. Then I may build an app for the driver. And then I may build an app for the end user. So that's three um apps that I've built under one of my projects. So that's just an example of what you can do here. Has API access to all integrations, thousand webhook queries a month, unlimited screens per app, unlimited cloud storage through your uh, Firebase account, publish, publish apps to Android and iOS app stores. So this is this for me for its money. And I think a lot of people, like I said, I, this is not your average app builder. This is one that gets very um, granular. And if you're looking, I say this is an intermediate app builder because you can actually, um, build a, a map here and you can build a driver or you can build a, an app like a DoorDash or something like that. You can build that in here. You can build your own DoorDash in this app. Right. And I, I did a, a version of a, uh, I did a version over here, you guys know I always have Easter eggs at the end of my uh, videos. That's why I always have people to hang out. So as I kind of close, I did build uh, digital deliveries uh, and I'm working on the app. I'm trying to get that perfected, but I did build the digital de delivery store. There's a um, app on uh, YouTube. I mean, not on YouTube, but there's an app. There's an app on uh, AppSumo right now that allows you to build a digital e-store right out of the box. So I'm going to put a link in there for that as well. And I'm also going to put a link in there for uh, uh, SAS use case TV, where I'm showing you how I actually built it out and how I'm able to, to deliver it and all that. So again, this is one that I built here and I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to be building an app on here to do, build out my own store. Listen, that's all I have here is ideas and, and different ways to, to help you guys increase your bottom line. If you like, you can use any one of my affiliate links. I'm, I'm not going to make as much people think I make. I think they only pay you anywhere between, between two to, to four, maybe 5%. So that's maybe five, five or six bucks. Uh, but I appreciate any much can help. So I could uh, continue to bring these wonderful videos to you. It's been fun. Again, this is not a difficult tool. I think if you slow down, don't think you can just jump out and start building things overnight. You can build a very complex very solution based app for your clients, put it in the app store, Android store and run ads to it if you want to. And you can actually run banner ads in here too. If you want to make my app, you want to make your app free and just run banner ads. You can connect that in here as well. This has an open API. You can use the back end as well and do some pretty good things as well. So again, let me know your comments. Let me know which one you're looking for, looking at. There's a couple I've already looked at. I've looked at maybe five of them already in AppSumo and some other places. This is my second best one. The other one is the one that I built um, from scratch um, using uh, using um, one of the other apps, but that's no longer there. And then there's another one that shows you how to build them from scratch. That's on here as well. So I'll put some different links and some refer referral sources so you can take a look at them as well. Hey, this has been Jenny Jones. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm going to come back and let you guys take a look at it later on and see how I developed it and built it out. So let me delete this out. Don't need that anymore. This is, this is powerful. There's no bugs. It's very tight and crisp. This has been Jenny Jones. You guys take care. Goodbye for now.